G'day Australia, do not adjust your devices. I am back and this time I'm swapping backyards for beer gardens in our very first episode of Beer Garden Blitz in partnership with who? Who Garden. Are we on schedule? You got it? Oh, don't. Couple of hours to go. Now more than ever, people are living in an urban jungle and they're disconnected with nature. Greenery is given way to grey blandness. No trees, no grass, just concrete all around us. We're chasing deadlines, building up stress, caged inside skyscrapers, and it all happened so quickly. Before you knew it, something went wrong. It seems like we just can't find a spot of nature anywhere. And this even extends to our nation's beer gardens. And that's why Who Garden has taken my cargo shorts out of storage and enlisted me for their beer garden blitz. Like me, they believe in the restorative power of nature. So we've teamed up to revitalize our favorite beer gardens. After all, studies have shown that people living in green spaces experience far less stress. Over the last few months, we've received hundreds of submissions to find the beer garden most in need of a green makeover. And that pub is the Observer Hotel, here in the picturesque and historic Rocks District. Let's take a look inside. Now you must be Joel. I sure am. Jamie Jury. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Tell me more about your beer garden. Absolutely. Yeah, let's take a look. Well poured. Cheers. Okay. Now I know this place has history, but how old is it? Well, the Observer was first established in 1844, which makes it 175 years old this year. Wow. Well, you have certainly set a challenge in front of me, I can say, because uh, anything that's heritage listed, it means you can't touch the walls, you can't screw into the floors, everything has to kind of just float and coexist and pay homage to that heritage listed surrounding. The people that come here, they love the history of the place. I mean, that's why they come here, right? Exactly, exactly. We have some lovely old regulars who come in um, yeah. week to week, sit down and enjoy a beer with us. I gotta say, I'm excited to step up to the challenge. My team and I are very, very anxious to see the space and try to model something that, that honours the heritage, but actually gives you something like a green oasis in the middle of the city, yeah? That would be absolutely amazing. Keys? There you go. Thank you, kind sir. They're in good hands. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Well, I have to say, it looks pretty nice here inside because it was only renovated just a couple of years ago. But let's take a look in the beer garden. Ooh. Okay, I can see why they voted for this one. It definitely needs help. Well, it's not hard to see why so many people voted for this gorgeous pub. I mean, it's just steeped with history and it's such a perfect location here in Sydney. But the courtyard really is lacking some vibe. Desmond, our senior landscape architect, and myself mm -hmm. have come up with a beautiful plan for this space. We want to turn this into a lush, beautiful new beer garden. In a very heritage way. You've got your bench seating on both sides. So you've got tons of seating. We're wrapping the whole thing up in greenery. So they're sort of flat up against the wall. You'll get a much denser screen. To be honest, I'm a little concerned about their maintenance program. Bringing nature back into our environment is always my ultimate goal. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. All right. Cheers, Jack. Cheers. That, that's perfect, yeah. All right, Alex, nice one. Thanks, mate. <laughs> so what Alex and I have just discussed is the fact that we're gonna have to float this entire planter box with 12-foot trees over the top of the people below. Okay, well, we are actually in the bowels of the building right now, and what you might think is a floating garden up 
stairs there. Um, this is all the engineering that's gone on underneath it because of course each one of those fig trees is almost half a tonne each. So if you can imagine the point load on this slab which is only about 150 millimetres thick, you really need these large steel supports to sit underneath them. Beautiful engineering. So basically what we're doing is we're shaping up these beautiful fig trees. Now these are perfect for the courtyard because they will take a low light situation. So on top of those beautiful big figs, look at these, one of the main ingredients of Who Garden. This is an espaliered orange. It's not just an orange tree, it's an orange tree that's been trained onto a flat plane just like this, which from a garden designer's point of view is a dream come true. On top of that, I've got these giant topiary mop top rabinias. That means I've got a 1.8 clear trunk and a giant lollipop on top. Over here, I've got these beautiful topiarized acacia cognatas. This is a bit of an Australian native. Beautiful fluffy foliage. Underneath them, we've got these arthropodiums. Now the arthropodiums are gorgeous, fleshy New Zealand plants that will do well in a shady condition and they'll always look nice and successful. Which means, of course, the team here at The Observer don't have to constantly maintain them. This is gonna look good. Ben's positioning them right now. We've got these beautiful espaliered oranges, which of course are gonna nestle into these planter boxes just like so. Now the reason that they're up on this trellis is so that they're nice and flat. They're not taking up any of this shelf space. So you can basically sit here, have a beer, and pluck the oranges off and pop them straight in there. It's beautiful, Ben. Lovely. Very nice work, mate. And mate, does that cost extra? Nah, it's free for you, mate. Free, beautiful. Mmm. <laughs> you ready? Yep. Okay, here we go. This is taking a lot longer than I thought. Cracked it. Oh, no. Well, we were forecast for rain, and here it is, and it's just getting a little bit unsafe to keep going, which is going to make tomorrow a bit of a struggle. Team, I think we need to pull the pin. Day two and the rain has stopped. Sun shines out, we've got plenty to do. We've got four trees to come in, each weighing half a tonne each. Then we've got the tables to knock out, another 80 plants to get in. We've got to clean up and then get the whole vertical garden, who garden feature wall in place. Plenty to do, got to get blitzing. I get the feeling you're enjoying this, mate. <laughs> this is bulletproof bench tops, mate. You've got exterior grade plywood, yep. and then straight over the top of that, because that's marine grade, we've got this seven millimeter seat. We're wrapping it all the way around with nice soft edges. So, mate, you will be able to rest a pair on here for the next 150 odd years. <laughs> all right, mate, a couple of hours to go. Look what I found. Get out of it. Come on. You there you go. The two of us together, <laughs> side by side, with our lightsabers, Obi-Wan Kenobi. <laughs> Ooh, she's beautiful. New plants are always thirsty, so we've got Big Ben pouring out a few drinks. Great job, mate. Great job. Without any further ado, right. I would like to launch officially the Who Garden Garden. Thank you so much. And it was easy. All it took was 25 people working around the clock without rest and, of course, a refreshing Who Garden at the end. 
Let's raise a glass to the observer and Hoo Garden for bringing a touch of nature back into the city.